Mission San Luis Rey is the largest of the 21 California missions. Established in 1798, the original mission property once stretched close to 1 million acres. Today, it sits on 56 acres that retell the history of its establishment. And so our museum is set up in such a way that it tells the history of the museum. And so the very first room um, touches on the Luceno history, the Luceno people being the original people of this land and the, this is the land of, of the Luceno people. And so it just talks through the history of the early years of the mission, the early founders of the mission. Gwen Grimes is the executive director of Mission San Luis Rey. We are a very active mission today. Um, so we have over 50,000 people that visit the mission every year. We have 10,000 fourth graders who come here as part of California history. While the museum offers an overall history, the grounds have more to offer. Church service is still held in the original church, as well as the modernized parish. Blooming rose gardens in the middle of the mission's ruins are a short stroll away from a cafe. And the cemetery is a mix of old and new. Headstones from the 1800s lay near burial plots available to anyone today. While Mission San Luis Rey is on its way to continue its legacy, the past can't be erased. The history of all of the California missions is a complicated history, um, but I think one of the things that's very important to us as a Franciscan mission and as, as, as people who follow St. Francis is relationships. And so our relationship with, um, with the Luceno people, the native people of this land, is very important to us. She says there's no denying some of the mission's painful history, but the relationship between the church and the Luceno people is one built on healing. We obviously can't change it, but you know we want to grow our relationship and, and uh, make sure people know that the Luceno people are still here, that the friars are still here, and that we still have a relationship of, of mutual respect and admiration for each other. Throughout the day, church bells can be heard ringing. And once in a while, you'll also hear the chanting of the people native to the land where the mission stands because the grounds are also a meeting place for the San Luis Rey Band of Mission Indians. Uh, I'd like to think that the Mission San Luis Rey was uh, a little kinder to the, some of the people that were here uh, in the villages. Mel Vernon is the captain of the San Luis Rey Band of Mission Indians. Uh, I think um, San Luis Rey in this area, thankfully it wasn't uh, as impacted as the gold fields were up in Northern California and some of the uh, genocide actually that happened up there. I'm not saying bad things didn't happen here. But Vernon thinks his ancestors wouldn't want them to suffer over old wounds. For yourself and your health, it's, it's best to have a positive outlook because uh, we don't have to look very far in the past to find the traumas that happened to everybody in life and not that don't even aren't Indian, but everybody. Grimes and Vernon agree that healing is a process. And as a new page is turned for the mission's history, both groups are undergoing new initiatives. The San Luis Rey Band of Mission Indians is planning their 24th powwow on the mission grounds. It's been four years since their last powwow due to COVID, but Vernon says they plan to have it next year. Although parking for the powwow will look different because the space has been leased by the mission to a new senior living community. The mission, like every 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 other organization, has to survive, you know, and, and, they're, and, the, and the, the Franciscans are, are doing what they have to do. As they've been getting older as everyone else has, so they they're have to have people coming in and, and they have to do different strategies to survive as, as we all do. And they're a great partner with us and uh, really uh, want to be part of our community of Oceanside and part of our mission community. The 213 senior living units will be completed by September. But together, the mission and the San Luis Rey Band of Mission Indians celebrate the 225 year old history that has led to a new start today. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.